So if you ever inherited property, you know, it's kind of a great thing when somebody says, hey, you're my heir and, and you get the property. But sometimes it's a lot of work too. So we had, had a call from a group of people, there's five people, five heirs to the property, all in their 50s and 60s. And they said, hey, come, you know, look at this house, tell us what you'd pay for it. So I showed up, they're all in rubber gloves, you know, up to their elbows, and they've got masks on. And as soon as I walked in the house, I understood why. Because their 90 year old uncle had a dog inside that he hadn't let out for about six months before he, he died. And so it was smelly, it was dirty, he was a hoarder, tons of stuff. And so I went and I, and I talked to him and I says, well, this is what I think I can offer you for this house. I'll take it as is, you won't have to clean it out, um, and I can close when you want, as little as next week if you like. And so they went back and, and they, they uh, came to me and they said, well, you know, our agent says that if we clean it up, we fix it up a little bit, you know, we might be able to make an extra $30,000. 30,000 seems like a lot of money, right? Except for it needed a new kitchen. And so, you know, I said, yeah, you probably can. You know, sometimes that's the best way to sell it is listing it with an agent and trying to get the most money possible. But, you know, a kitchen's gonna cost you at least 15,000. You've got carpet because the carpets are ruined. The dog's chewed on it and done other things to it. And, uh, you know, you're probably not gonna be that far ahead. So they said, well, let's talk about it. So they walked back and they had a little huddle. And I could see a little group of people like this and they had their heads together and I could hear them because they weren't very far. And one of them says, well, you know, we can get more money if we fix it up. And the other one said, no, no, you have to discount for cash. You know, uh, you always give a discount for cash. This guy will close quick, no inspections. We don't have to clean it out. We don't have to fix it. We don't have to do anything to it. And so uh, they came back and said, Randall, we'll take your offer. You know, we'll go with you. So I shook their hand. We signed the, the document right then and there. And when I backed out of the driveway, five cars followed us out. They didn't want to have any more to do with it. We got rid of two or three vehicles that were left on the property. We had seven dumpsters full of, of trash and nastiness, to be honest. But they were happy. We were happy. That's how we make our living. And it was a great chance to help somebody with a property that they needed to sell and didn't want to kill themselves spending two weeks trying to clean it out and fix the property up. So I'm Randall. If you got a house, we'd love to see about buying it. Thank you.